G'day guys, with CES just around the corner, there is a lot of new products that are being unveiled on the market. And here today, we actually have a brand new set of water-cooled RAM from Thermaltake. Now, unfortunately, we do not have the retail packaging because, of course, we did receive this before NDA. However, they do provide 32 gigabyte kits and 16 gigabyte kits of water-cooled RGB memory. So the RAM itself is pretty standard, comes with a two millimeter thick aluminium heat spreader with the thermal pads underneath. So you can actually use this for convectional cooling as well as using the water block. Good thing about these is it is a low profile all black design, so it's going to suit most themes. The logo isn't too overpowering either, and it doesn't have the real ugly white stickers that you normally see on your normal memory modules. So far, the kits do come in a 32 gigabyte kit, which is what we have here, and a 16 gigabyte kit. Uh, they are 3200 megahertz in speed, and they are CL16 low latency RAM. Unfortunately, we do not know who the manufacturer of the RAM is, and we do not know the pricing as of yet, because we are recording this video prior to the release. So once we figure out more information, we will be doing an updated video, and of course, a build using this memory. Like all of Thermaltake's RGB hardware, they do use one of these controllers. And the good thing about all of these is this can connect to any RGB hardware that they have. So you don't have to have 50 of these controllers in the back controlling each piece of hardware that's in your system. They can all sync up on the same controller. The water block itself is CNC machined from PMMA and for the copper plate. It is nickel plated, uh, anti-corrosive protection as well. And on the back here, we do have a thermal pad, which obviously touches the top of the heat spreader on the RAM. And that's how all of the heat is dissipated into the water loop. Now this is fully RGB controlled using the Thermaltake software and it does have support for Asus Aura Sync and all the major vendor brands such as MSI, Gigabyte, ASRock, etc. These are just your standard G and a quarter inch fittings so just like normal you can use any fittings with these blocks. The good thing about having this memory kit with the block is you know it is compatible right off the bat. No other brands offer this. They don't sell the RAM with the water block as well. So this is a first for thermal take and I think it's a pretty good option for users. So we only just received this yesterday, so we haven't done our own testing yet, but according to Thermaltake, they received an 18 degrees drop from just using convectional cooling to water cooling. So we will be doing our own testing just to confirm these results once we do our PC build with this water block. So the RAM sticks themselves actually have a lifetime warranty on them and the water block has a two year warranty on them. So you can get replacements for those if anything does go wrong. Pretty good having a lifetime warranty on the RAM considering it is the first RAM that they have bought out. So now that I have told you guys a bit of the features and everything about this RAM, let's actually go ahead and we will assemble it and see how it actually looks under some RGB lights. So in the kit, they do include some screws and an Allen key. Uh, that's for mounting the memory modules to the water block. So before mounting these modules, you need to make sure that you do peel back this protective film, which is on the thermal pad. Otherwise, you're not going to be getting any thermal conductivity between the RAM and the block itself. You also want to make sure that you are placing the RAM the correct way on the water block so that it does insert into the motherboard correctly where the RAM slot should fit in. So for installation, I'm just going to do one memory module at a time. And it's pretty simple, just two screws on each side. I loved everything. Fire spreading all around my room. My world's so bright. It's hard to breathe, but that's all right. Hush. Anyway guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about this RAM. You can use it either by convection cooling without the water block or with the water block, and of course have your RGB bling in the system. 
Thanks for watching guys, leave a like and subscribe guys. Check out more videos on the channel just like this one. Lots of custom PCs, reviews, modding tutorials and much more. And we'll see you all in the next one.